Hey guys, it's the Dutchums for Master and welcome to this brand new SketchUp Speed Build. So today I'm building contemporary house number one in SketchUp obviously. And yeah, this is again a very modern luxurious villa, which is what I usually build in SketchUp. As you probably know, if you've seen my previous SketchUp Speed Builds, um, which you can by the way check out in a playlist. I think, I'll, I guess I'll just put a link in the description because I can imagine that not very many of you have maybe seen my SketchUp videos before as I'm, my channel is mainly focused on uh, The Sims but SketchUp is actually pretty fun if you like The Sims as well because I mainly do building videos in The Sims so you probably like architecture if you watch my Sims videos and then if you like architecture you definitely like these SketchUp videos as well uh, because it's kind of like The Sims but just much more realistic this is what like actual architects use um, at times just to like kind of visualize their ideas and just to make their designs and um, yeah it's just a very fun program which makes uh, yeah it's very realistic also to build stuff uh, and especially the renders which you'll see uh, me create at the end or you don't see me creating them but you see them at the end uh, really make the house look very realistic as if it's just come from real life in my opinion so um, yeah it's got a really cool infinity pool at the front which you just saw me creating and I've currently started working just on the shape of the house. I already had like kind of an idea for this house when I started, but I didn't actually plan out too much of it. That's what I never do. I never like draw out what I'm building. I'm just starting and then I'm just coming up with ideas. And that's just the way um, that goes. So currently you see me creating the shape. And recently I've been working on some more realistic pr uh, projects in real life. I've actually um, a few weeks ago been asked to create uh, two concept models for uh, a house or two houses in California. Um, which is of course really cool because those houses, the concepts will actually be used and sent to like actual architects. And maybe in that way, like what I come up with will actually be built. So in that way, I've kind of got like an extra job with this SketchUp and um, that being realistic also um, had kind of urged me to um, really focus on measurements a little bit more as well. So making the measurements realistic and therefore I've um, yeah done that for this build as well because um, yeah I've just started you know looking at measurements more a little bit more realistically so um, then it's not that hard to just put it in every build I do so I thought maybe it's more realistic uh, to like use measurements in uh, the YouTube houses I create as well so this house is actually like realistic so uh, the wall heights are like three meters I believe or 280 which is kind of high but just like good for a luxurious house like this um, and in that way yeah I thought it, the houses would turn out even better and I must say this is my favorite house which I've built so far um, simply because yeah I just really like the style um, currently you see me creating like shutters or at least wooden parts which will kind of function as shutters if you've seen my videos like before you know that i really like to use shutters in all of my creations i just really like how you can like look through them and look outside but people from the outside cannot look in and the way they look very modern and like clean and yeah i just really like the look of it so i decided to use it in this build as well um and yeah, that's what you see me create, uh, creating over here. I used some components or groups. I believe it were groups over here to make it work out a little bit better because otherwise uh, creating those shutters would have taken like an hour. And now I only had to make one shutter or one wooden piece, which is not wooden yet. And then I copy it and put it there, which was much easier. So I was happy with that. Um, and then at this point, I realized that the pool was kind of out of shape because like like I said, I never plan out these builds or never really plan them out. I, know, I knew when I started that I wanted to use these shutters and I wanted to make an infinity pool simply because those pools are incredible. But that's basically it. So therefore, um, yeah, but when I created the pool, it turned out to be a little bit more to the right than it was supposed to be. So I just fixed it to make it line up with the rest of the house. And then, um, yeah, you just see me modeling this entire build. So. Yeah, I'm planning on doing more of this and I know I say that in every video, but um, yeah, I just really want to focus a little bit more on architecture, especially now I'm like getting these kind of jobs from it. So people actually really seem to enjoy it. 
then I can maybe make it even bigger. So that's what my plan is. And I'm not sure whether this time I can indeed make more of them, but I think I can. I really have an idea for the next SketchUp speed, but so that should be up in like a week. Maybe we can make this a weekly or a two weekly thing. Uh, so not twice a week, but once in every two weeks, I mean. Uh, because I really want to make an um, underwater build from uh, Dubai because maybe you've ever seen that um, like Dubai is of course that crazy place where they can do anything because money doesn't play a role and then they can come up with crazy concepts and actually just bring that to life and then I saw that they've got like houses underwater or partly underwater and then they've got like a hot tub and then you have your bedroom underwater and then you've also got a level above it so kind of like a houseboat but then just in the sea and you can't move it i'm planning on just recreating that in sketchup i thought it would be kind of a nice idea so um yeah wait for that i'm planning on uh, starting with that pretty soon and also i want to build more of these yeah kind of houses which just look realistic in my opinion and just look really cool because I just really enjoy creating these um, so let me know what you think of it because I'm always just playing around if you've got any tips let me know because I'm also just doing this as a hobby I'm like still at school being 16 years old and just doing this because I like it and then people start ask asking me for like jobs to do this to create like real life houses for us for us that's even possible but you never know how to believe people at the internet but the project I'm currently working on really seems realistic but um, yeah that's kind of awesome so yeah without you that wouldn't be possible so I'm really happy that all of you support these kinds of videos because um, yeah that support just makes it a lot more fun and yeah it just makes it a lot more real I guess we could say so um, here you see me creating the shutters at the front which kind of seems like the back as we always start at the back of the house but for some reason I always like to start at the side where you've got the pool and then at the front I just come up with something but in this case it was really realistic I think um, just bringing the shutters over to the entire side and then just removing the shutters from the um, door and the garage which you currently yeah you know, which you just saw um, but uh, the reason I did this is because of course it's a lot more private if you've got like shutters all at the front because you can look outside so you still got like light coming in a little bit less than normally but there's many windows so that doesn't really matter uh, but people cannot look inside from the outside and it just really looks awesome and just simple I guess and just yeah you know I just really like it currently I'm working on the windows which I try to make a little bit more detailed sometimes I just make a hole in the wall and then the entire the entirety of the wall is like the window but for this I really try to make that a little bit more detailed because I know that that makes it more look more realistic and that's really what I'm focusing on also you'll notice that with the renders I'm really trying to make the renders look as realistic as I can because that's just awesome um, in my opinion because the more realistic it looks the, like the cooler it is right so um, that's what I've been trying to do and I think for this house it's worked out pretty fine but you'll see that most of the well not most of the video but quite a big part of the video is actually me creating windows which is starting right here um, but yeah yeah you know once you get started with it it just gets a little bit easier and uh, therefore i always do, just do this at one go because then you're into it and you know exactly what measurements you use because of course the windows do have to be the right size but then you have that like in your mind so you can just copy it and if you have like pauses in or breaks in between that all the time then you don't remember the measurements probably or you just have to look them up again uh, for the windows just to make them uh, equal sizes and that just doesn't really work I thought so therefore I always do that in one go and I must say that once the windows are added it's always kind of a pain in the ass to make but once it's done the house just looks so much better and then you can finally start adding textures and adding textures just makes that the house is kind of done uh, because the garden is something I never do on camera because it just really slows down my uh, computer because you add like very many plants which are like models on themselves so they're pretty big already and you, then you add like 10 or 20 models into one model and that really makes it slow so it still works but for the video it's just in my opinion not good enough so it's just handleable is that that's not even a 
it's still good to handle, not handleable. That's not even a word, I guess. But um, okay, how did I come up with that? But um, yeah, in the end, in the rendered, you always see like the plants and the cars I've added just to make it look more realistic, but it's not in the video itself. I hope you don't really mind, but if you do, let me know because it's just your feedback which can make this these kinds of videos better because you are in the end the ones who are watching this and who probably like this because otherwise you wouldn't be watching it. But if you've got any feedback how it can make this better, then let me know because that's just good i guess and also my email uh, address is in the uh, description below in case you indeed want me to design like a building or something then just send me like a description of the build uh what you want me to do and then that's basically at least only realistic stuff because i do notice it when something is not realistic and then it's easy but we just don't start working on the project but the email address is in the in the description and i've yeah, you've just got to type it in. You can't copy it because otherwise I really started to get insanely many spam emails because it's like in the description of all my videos and then it was just there like in its entirety. So TD, what was it again? TD, was it? I don't exactly remember the email address. What is it? TD Sims 4 Master, I believe it is. Yeah, because, yep at hotmail.com but if you also add the ad in it in its entirety then it just doesn't really work because then robots can notice that it's an email address and they just send automated uh, spam emails which is of course not what you want but um yeah i decided to just put the ads um yeah on its own so then it's not an entire email address which is there and i believe it works because i'm getting a little bit less spam but still i'm receiving like all those fake like offers or at least you know i guess everyone gets these meals every now and then like can i trust you with my one billion dollar from india uh, i really wanted to send you this and then i'm like nope nope i'm not clicking on the link in this email because then i'm getting very many viruses on my pc so just a little tip there never click on those links because they're just fake you're not actually getting like 10 billion dollars because nope that's just that's just not gonna happen for doing nothing but um yeah here you see me adding a little bit more of the windows and then basically the windows are done i'm mainly focused on the windows in the front because you actually see those and at the back or which is the actual front of the house i decided to um well not remove them but just make them very easy kind of or simple because you don't see them anyways and it does take quite a lot of time to create all these windows um, so yeah, here I'm finally painting or doing like the textures of the build and I kind of messed around with the colors and yeah, in the end I'm really happy with the color it, um, it turned out to look like, but yeah, I just didn't really know what to do with the color so I've been playing around with that a lot and I believe this is actually the final color so I've done much of like the decisions decision making off camera because otherwise this would even take longer and it's now already like 18 minutes or something um so here we've got like this um yeah patio which i think is really cool because it actually goes through the entire like um yeah through the entire building kind of so you see like the shutters at the back as well the wooden panels which is pretty cool uh, so there you've got like a really good like eating a dining area or something Just whatever you want and then under there you've got the garage which in my opinion Really is realistic and this is like I think what a uh, building would like look like in in real life I think it's a little bit too small. So I didn't really take notice of the uh, measurements Like of the entire house too much, but of course it can also just be like a luxurious little house because some houses are modern but just for like two people and then it doesn't have to be too big but it just has to look good and luxurious and that's basically what this house is i guess um so here i'm also adding like the um the textures and the colors to the uh panels or the window part i guess we could say just to finish that up a little bit and then yeah in the end i think this build just really turned out to look cool so i'm it always whenever I do SketchUp it makes me much more excited to do more SketchUp but for some reason once I've uploaded it then I realize again how much time it was to create such a video and then I'm like hmm maybe not 
Here I changed the colors a little bit and here I'm also starting to add like kind of the garden a little bit. So I did record part of it. As you can see, just creating like boxes for the plants to be put in. And I'm also changing like the shaping of the, uh, what, yeah, what do you call this? Mm, I don't actually know, but yeah, I, what is it? Yeah, I don't know. It's like the foundation kind of, I'm changing that. Uh, and adding some draws and some other textures just to make it look like more realistic, a little bit more modern, just cooler and uh, finished. So in the end, that's what you'll see in the renders as well. So let me know what you think of these SketchUp builds because that's in the end what really matters. The comments on these videos, the feedback and also leaving a like on this video would be awesome because then you let me know that you support it. And um, yeah, just enjoy the renders, which you're seeing in a few seconds. I'll actually talk about that as well. Um, but um, yeah, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more SketchUp. Like I said, I'm planning on really uploading more SketchUp and this time I'm actually thinking that I'll do it because I just really enjoyed building this way too much. So yeah, I think this really turned out to look cool, just realistic, modern. But um, yeah, let me know what you think of it. As you can see, these are the renders, which I think looks pretty cool as well. I used iRender next for this um, just in case you were wondering because I get asked that question quite a lot what rendering program do you use well it's our render next and also I used Photoshop and Lightroom to finish it up but anyways thanks for watching this and I hope to see you back in a next video